Welcome to On the Road with Roger. Today we're looking at cooperatives. My name's Roger Morris and I sell real estate in Seattle for Coldwell Banker Bain. I recently listed a cooperative and I thought that this would be a great opportunity to explain the difference between a co-op and a condo. With a co-op purchase or sale, the co-op is a cooperative, so there is a third party that is involved in any sale. With a condo, it is between you and the buyer and seller. When you purchase a co-op, you receive shares in the co-op, whereas in a condo, you get a deed for the property. With financing for a co-op, there are very few uh, choices. Only a couple of lenders in the Seattle area work with co-op financing, and they all work with a national co-op bank, which the buyer must use in order to purchase. With a condo, you're able to use any lender of your choice. There are a number of unique features that make a co-op uh, a unique purchase. Most of the homes were built on Capitol Hill and Queen Anne and were built between 1900 and 1930, so they have a lot of great character. The property taxes are included in the homeowner dues, and from a tax department perspective, the co-op cooperative pays the taxes as a whole, as opposed to a condo where you pay property taxes on your specific unit. The unit must also be owner-occupied. Generally, you're not able to rent your unit in a co-op. Thanks for coming on the road today with Roger and learning the difference between a condo and a cooperative. For this and any other information about real estate in Seattle, I look forward to hearing from you.